Well, hi, and welcome to another tutorial in our iPhone Basics tutorial series. My name is Andy Walker. I'm the executive producer at Butterscotch.com. And today, I'm going to show you what do you do about power on your iPhone. What do you do when the power starts to run out? Now, this is a very basic tip, but some people don't know how to do that. And that's completely reasonable because nobody's shown you. They just shipped you an iPhone, and so you sh wouldn't necessarily know. So let's show you. First of all, how do you know that your iPhone is running out of power? Well, if you look here, top right hand corner, there is an indicator that's shaped like a battery. And usually this is either filled with white or half white or a little bit of red. In this particular case, this iPhone is running low on power. In fact, because it's red, it's showing that means it's less than 20% available battery um, capability on this device at the moment, less than 20% of a charge. Uh, it will also show red if it's less than 10%. You'll actually see an alert on the device. It'll come up on the screen when this first occurs. Now, when this goes into this mode, you're going to want to charge it up. How? Well, let's try. Let's try doing that right now. With your iPhone came a cable. Here's the cable here. This cable is a USB cable, and it's designed to connect your iPhone to a computer or to a power outlet. So first of all, let's connect it to the iPhone itself. The connector is at the bottom here. So I'm going to take this connector, the wide flat one, and I'm going to stick it in here. So it's connected snugly, as you can see. And I'm going to take the other end. Now I have two options here to power this up. I can either plug it into my computer, into the USB slot, which is on the side of most laptops, or on the back or front of most desktop computers. Now this is a powered connector, so it will actually draw power from your computer. So I'm going to put it in here. And what you're going to see is, you, heard, you may have heard a little vibration there. It now shows it's connected to the computer and it's drawing power. It's powering it up. And it shows a little charge there. It also, the sink may also kick in as well. Uh, but it will also charge and also synchronize with iTunes at, the, iTunes at the same time. Now you have a second option to charge this. In with your package, with your iPhone, you've got one of these. This is a power connector in North America and in other parts of the world, of course, you'll get the new, unique wall adapter for power as necessary. This is a North American one right here. So what you can do here is take your USB connector and plug it in like that. Oops. Like that. And then plug that into your power outlet in a wall from your mains or your electricity in your house. So it's connected here. Goes through the USB cable and you plug it into the wall like that. You plug that in. That'll charge too. Of course, there's no data going on there. That's the, probably the most efficient way to charge your iPhone. Don't forget, if you want to see what the battery, how filled the battery is, you're going to push this here, top button, turn it on, plug it in to your computer, like so. And It'll show you the battery indicator here. And that's how you charge up your iPhone. This is another episode of our 10-part series on iPhone basics. Hope you enjoyed it. Find out more at butterscotch.com. I'm Andy Walker. I'll see you next time.